Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you, and I am Wumi Ademola. Here at my home church, DIC, the prophetic word that God gave us for the year is fruitfulness. 2023 is our covenant year of fruitfulness, and I believe it's going to be yours as well. Based on Revelation chapter 22, verse 2, the Lord says to you and to me that on either side of the river was a tree of life, which bore 12 fruits. Each tree yielded its fruit, listen to this, every month. So that's the word of the Lord to you. Every single month this year, beginning from January all the way to December, you're going to be bearing fruit. You're going to be successful. You're going to be productive. You're going to be prosperous in all that you lay your hands to do, regardless of what's going on in the world, regardless of the economic situation all around you. The word of the Lord is clear. This is your year of fruitfulness because your supply does not depend on human governments, but rather it depends on the inexhaustible rivers of God. God, as we're told in Philippians 4.19, is going to supply all your need and mine according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Just believe it and that's going to be your reality in 2023 in Jesus' name. 2023 and beyond, as a matter of fact. However, friend, you need to understand that you cannot harvest fruit unless you first plant seeds. Scripture is so clear. Genesis 8:22. Seed time always comes before harvest. Unless you are willing to plant certain seeds, you cannot harvest the fruitfulness that God has destined for you in this year. And so over the next couple of weeks, I feel stirred in my spirit to talk about four very important seeds that you and I must keep planting if 2023, even our entire life, is to be fruitful and productive according to God's prophetic word. So today, let's talk about the very first and most important seed that you must always be planting if you want your life to be fruitful. And it is this. It is the seed of investing time in God's presence. Oh, beloved, this year, more than ever before, you need to take your relationship with God seriously because that is the most vital key to your fruitfulness and your prosperity in life. Hear what Jesus Christ, our Lord, says in John chapter 15, and I'm going to read verse 4 and 5. He said, dwell in me and I will dwell in you. Another way to put it is live in me and I will live in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit of itself without abiding, being vitally united to the vine, neither can you bear fruit unless you abide in me. And then he continues in verse five. He says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever lives in me and I in him, get this, bears much abundant fruit. However, apart from me, cut off from vital union with me, you can do nothing. So you cannot be productive without a vital union, a very intimate relationship with God. It's so key to you experiencing the fruitfulness that God intends for you. Because apart from him, apart from him, Jesus is so clear, you can do nothing. You can do nothing. You can be nothing. And you can have nothing. Do you want to do great things this year? Do you want to accomplish great things this year? Do you want to have great successes this year? You got to stay in vital union with the Lord your God. Psalm 127, remember what it says in verse 1? Unless the Lord builds a house, the builder's work is useless. Another translation says, without the help of the Lord, it is useless. So you need God's help. You need to stay in vital union with him because without the help of God, your best efforts will amount to nothing. And that's why you must choose this year intimacy 
overactivity. I'm going to say that again. You're going to choose intimacy with God over any activity that you have got to do. It's so important. Now, by no means, I'm not suggesting that you should not work. You should just neglect your duty or be lazy. Absolutely not. What I'm saying is this, that above any business, your academics, whatever it is you do, your business, your job, whatever it is, do not pursue anything more than you pursue the living God. And this was what the Lord Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 10, he told Martha, you know, in the story uh, in Luke chapter 10 about Mary and Martha, Martha was so busy about with so much activity, but Mary on the other hand, wisely chose intimacy over activity while her sister was all about, you know, busy in the kitchen, trying to get uh, food prepared for the Lord Jesus Christ. A good thing, by the way, but it's not the main thing. You must always major on the main thing. So she was just so busy about trying to prepare a meal for the Lord Jesus. But Mary, on the other hand, sat at the master's feet, listening to his word. What does that mean? She was developing intimacy with the Lord. And the Bible tells us in verse 39, it says that Mary was listening intently and hanging on his every word. But verse 40 says, Martha, on the other hand, she was pulled away by all that she had to do in the kitchen. And Jesus then said to her, Martha, dear Martha, you are fussing far too much and getting yourself worked up over nothing. But one thing only is essential. The Lord said, one thing only is essential, Martha. The, and, this, and that is spending time with me. He says, one thing only is essential, and Mary has chosen it. Listen to this. He said, it's the main course and won't be taken from her. So Jesus says the same thing to you, that one thing alone is essential. That's the main thing of life, spending time with me, the Lord your God. Choose that, like Mary chose it. Choose that intimacy over activity. It's not wrong to prepare a meal. It's not wrong to do all the things you need to do, but it is wrong to choose those things over intimacy with the Lord. So this year, friend, Make up your mind that pursuing intimacy with God, spending time alone in the word, in prayer, in worship is the very first thing you do in the day. Do not put anything else above it. I know we all have busy schedules, but remember, apart from the Lord, you can do nothing. So before you step out into your day, whatever job you have, whether you're a nurse, whether you're a teacher, just spend time alone with the Lord. This year, make the main thing the main thing. Stop fussing about all the other minor things. Make the main thing the main thing. And the Lord promises that this year is going to be your most productive year to date. He will make sure everything else falls into place. Matthew 6, he said, Seek first the kingdom, seek intimacy with God first, and all other things. All the goals you've listed for this year, they're going to be added to you without fuss and without hustle. I do trust you were blessed today, friend. Please come back next week as I share the next vital key, the next vital seed you got to plant to have a fruitful year. If you've not done so, friend, subscribe to this channel, Knowing God Media, and let me help you accomplish the goal of intimacy with God. And of course, follow all my social media handles. God bless you and see you next time. <music>